Hi, Chili here from Live Listen Erased, and on this episode of 5 Minute Review, we will cover the new Red Fang album, Arrows. Just like Powerwolf, I was recommended this band on Spotify, and liked their songs Prehistoric Dog and Antidote. I haven't had a chance to dive into an album, so let's get started. The very first track is Take It Back. A long, lone vocal track screams in the distance, and this begins the album. It's very uh, ambiguous. The following track is Unreal Estate. The following track starts with some small guitar effects and drums growing in volume until the main riff begins and it feels thick, like meat and potatoes thick. True stoner metal riff as this riff is hammered into your brain. It's not a bad riff, but I wasn't ready for for it the first time I heard it. Upon listening again, it's endearing, it's not bad, but it's not great. The following track is Arrows. And it's the title track from this album. Another heavy hitting riff plays out and feels almost robotic in timing. There is a nice fade out section near the end before the solo that does enhance this riff so kudos on that part. Overall a very solid track. The following track is My Disaster and this is a short and monotonous riff with odd effects in a song that is smashed out in under two minutes and yet it feels like it lasts twice as long. The next track is Too High. High energy riffage here after a small intro. Yeah, this song's here to rock you and would be awesome in a live setting. Compared to earlier tracks, this one hits the nail on the head of that stoner rock sound. Ironic, isn't it, given the song title. The following track is Anodyne. And get your groove on in this intro with the drum and bass parts. I'm not sure if I can describe this song though. At parts it sounds inoffensive, and at other parts commonplace and innocuous. If only there was a word that could surmise this song called Anodyne. Seriously though, a 4D chess move on this track. The following track is Interrupt Mod. This track is a small bit of noise rock with a drum fill over the top, and is a cool song, which is somewhat of an intro for the next track. Fonzie Scheme is the next track, and this track starts off with a wall of sound guitar riff. I dig this track a lot, as it flows seamlessly into a sludgy piece without getting stuck. It harkens back to mid-70s Sabbath with its sound. This track is awesome. The next track is Days Collide, and this song is another great track. The track starts off as a lone guitar piece before the band jumps in and honestly it feels huge in its tone, like a large beast coming to life and I stand in awe at what I see. This song is slow and has potential to be a jam song when done live and definitely would be great to see in its setting. Even the second half sees a tempo change as it gets faster and changes again near the end. A beautiful song. The following track is Rabbits and Hives and straight away It's got a hectic pace, it's like a rabbit just sprinting, but seriously, this is one fast paced punkish track, abrasive and quick, as it hits hard with odd and at times nonsensical lyrics. The following track is Why, a sleight of band intro before the thunderous drums kick in and it's surprising and makes you jolt considering the intro can give you a feeling of drifting off. This song isn't too bad, but it feels just casual between choruses. The lyrics seem to be about COVID, as there is mention about masks and breathing in to steal oxygen, but it's ambiguous enough to allure at other things as well. Up to interpretation, I guess. The next track is Dr. Owl. The heaviest and hardest hitting track comes near the closing of this album. Dr. Owl is a peculiar title for an uh, for a track, and I think it's referencing the Dr. Owl system that governments and schools use for COVID checks, especially when lyrics allure to riding the helix, which sounds like the double helix in DNA. It also mentions no time to rewind and seems to suggest the band's views that the way we live now is going to be the way we live moving forward. Not a bad track. The last track is Funeral Coach. Hammer on, hammer off. The intro riff of this song adheres to this motto. This song just seems to allure that the doom and death of someone young at the hands of an unseen enemy. It's just one verse, one chorus, and back to the verse before it's over again. It's somewhat forgettable, unfortunately. I listened to this album a few times to get a feel for this band, and then I went back to their first release to get a vibe of where they started. All I can think of is a quote Joshua Homme once said about why he created the band Queens of Stone Age, 
and he said, we want to make Robot Rock. And after listening to this album, it feels a bit like Robot Rock. Stoner or sludge metal can be quite a divide, with styles and songs either being hour-long jams on one song, like the band Earthless, or short repetitive rock riffs with hard-hitting drums similar to High on Fire. This album falls into the latter of the two, but without the punch of High on Fire. It's got a different feel to their first album, which, to be honest, has a more ebb and flow, natural feeling compared to this one. Overall, this album gets a 7 out of 10, with some songs sounding similar and full, while the standout tracks really rise in above. The songs that stand out for me are the title track Arrow, Fonzie Scheme, and Days Collide. Red Fang are a pretty solid band, and if you are into early quotes, Caius, High on Fire, Orange Goblin, or Electric Wizard, then surely this is a band you should check out. (laughs) 